Hi. When talking about pitching, we will look at the essential elements of a pitch and how you can tailor that pitch to different audiences like customers or investors. A pitch is a way to bring your message to an audience in a short and firm way. You'll have to be sure who your audience is and what you want from them. Are you pitching to customers and do you want to sell products to them? Or are you pitching to investors and do you want investment money? In both cases, you will have to mention other details and have to leave out things that are not relevant for that audience. So you'll end up with different versions of that same pitch. Once you define your audience, it's important to ask the question, why should they care? What can I put right at the beginning of my pitch to attract the attention of my audience? This will get them interested. Then think of all the elements you want to include and build them into a nice story. It's not easy, because depending on time, you will have to leave out certain things. But that's no problem, because in the end, the goal of a pitch is to get the attention. If your audience is interested and has questions, they will ask it later. The elevator pitch is defined by its length. It's a pitch that you should be able to do when waiting for an elevator or even within an elevator. You don't have any slides or graphical material to back you up. Typically, an elevator pitch lasts one to two minutes and the goal is to have a follow-up meeting. You should be able to do this pitch anytime, any place and for any audience. For example, at the network reception or at a party. The investment pitch is targeted at an investment audience and the goal is to get money in your company. Typically, an investor pitch lasts 7 to 15 minutes and you do have slides to back you up. A typical structure for an investor pitch starts with looking at the problem and the customer segment and why that customer segment cares about that problem. Next, you look at the solutions you offer to tackle that problem. The problem and the solutions are the baseline for your business model, but you'll need to offer a fully developed business model. You'll also have to look at competition. No investor will believe that you don't have any competition because you're so special. You should pay attention to your founding team, because the team will remain the same for a long time and the business model will probably change. Also, Look at your marketing plan. How will you approach the market and how are you going to get the product to the customers? Last but not least, you will need a solid financial plan. You will need to mention how much money you think you need to build your business and how you're going to generate return for the investors. Always use validated data in an investor pitch. Investors are used to check data and they will notice it immediately that you're making up stories. The customer pitch is a special kind of pitch. It's not a two-way conversation, but it's a one-way conversation. Examples of a customer pitch are a landing page or a brochure that highlights the critical elements of your product for that specific customer group. It's a good idea to include a call to action on your customer pitch, a button buy me or an email address for more information. If you track that call to action in a decent way, you can gain a lot of customer insights it's not required to have a finished product to build your pitch. You can just generate attention and interest with an unfinished product. To summarize, your pitch should always be tailored to the situation and the audience. And uh, you'd better prepare your elevator pitch. <laughs>